Hello, my name is Ramon Vullings and I'm a cross-industry innovation expert. I've written the book called Not Invented Here on cross-industry innovation together with my colleague Mark Hellhaven. And I'm here today to talk you through one of the techniques in the book. The book is how you can learn from other areas, other sectors or companies from other industries. This can go on multiple levels, on products, of course, on services, on processes, flows, business models, technology, leadership, culture, partnerships, you name it. Today, we're going to look at the cross-industry transfer map. This is a tool outlined in the book, but also free downloadable from the website that you can use yourself to come up with new approaches by using elements from companies from other sectors. This is what the transfer map looks like. It has two sides. You have a site with the yellow post-its. This is the inspirational company. And you're going to transfer these insights to your situation. Let me take you through the seven steps. All right, what would X do? What would this other great company do? Your first step is to come up with an innovation challenge, your own situation. You put that on the right side in the white middle. Then you choose an innovative company, uh, preferably one that maybe someone of you knows a little bit about or that you can do some desk research on. To do this, SlideShare is a fantastic resource to learn how other companies do stuff. You do not select this company randomly. First, based on your innovation challenge, you figure out what is the level on which level, higher or lower on the abstraction ladder, that we are looking for inspiration and who's really good at that. And then you look for a company that does that really good and see how you can learn from them on a little bit deeper level. The third step, you need to list the unique ways how this company operates. What do they really do differently? Why is Nike so differently successful versus many other running shoes companies, sport companies? They do things differently. Their core product is virtually the same, but the way they operate is differently. Think about Cool Blue, a uh, retailer in the electronic space, which by their unique culture and their humor are able to figure out new ways of operating and beat the competition. So interesting. Step four, after you've been able to figure out these unique things, then you transfer a few of them over to your site and then you copy adapt paste, you transform them into ideas relevant for your situation. And with five, you use another color post-it to really describe these new adapted ideas. So copy adapting, co copy adapt pasting your new insights. And if additional ideas come up based on your, uh, your session, go ahead and uh, paste them in another post it there as well. All right, after this, uh, this should be relatively fast. You take another uh, organization to learn from. So you clear out all your post-its, except the blue ones, you keep them uh, or the other colored ones, it doesn't matter which, which color you take. You keep these ideas and then you do it again for another company. Let's take a little example. You can select all kinds of companies, preferably one that you know a little bit more about. And maybe you have uh, some experience or someone in your uh, family has some experience. You've worked there, you did an internship, or maybe you've studied this company. Or on the, on the web, you can find fantastic videos or uh, slide shares, slideshare.net, to figure out how these companies operate. And that's crucial. So first, in this case, I'm taking a uh, example from our um, yeah, real life practice. For a large automotive uh, company, they wanted more uh, customer engagement in automotive sales. And so we paste that or uh, we write that on the right hand side. You can put it on a post-it so you can reuse this map. Uh, the key is to figure out that's our situation. Okay, have more customer engagement in automotive sales. What kind of companies do we know that are really good at um, customer engagement, who are really good at that and preferably one not too closely linked to the automotive sector? Now, for instance, we think IKEA. IKEA might be really good. So what can we learn from IKEA? Here we have the logo, but in your situation, you just put in a post-it and you write down IKEA because then it's easy to transfer new organizations in there. 
Now, if we look at IKEA, they have a unique way of doing many things. Here we've listed quite a few things. Right? So you have the, the little routing lines and everything, the arrows. You have a modular product system. Do it yourself at home. It's a, it's a key thing. The manual without words. That's crucial. Right? Without words. That's a globally applicable manual. Everybody within 45 minutes drive gets a catalog. You have the happiness moment. Uh, you walk into an IKEA. At the end, you have a pretty high bill of all the stuff you uh, you bought because you want you wanted to go there for one simple item. At the end, you pay a lot and then you have the happiness moment because five meters further, you can buy a little ice cream or a hot dog for 50 cents. Makes you happy again. So they have really engineered their customer journey. The products have names, of course, also numbers, but they have names to be easily uh, recognizable because the original founder was dyslexic. And the catalog, at least the, uh, the catalog until the phones got advanced enough to measure the surroundings with uh, LIDARs and uh, advanced augmented reality, were used to make a clean indication of sizing. So if you have the catalog, you put it on, a, on, a, on the floor, you then scan the catalog with your phone, the phone would recognize the catalog, would then have a exact measurement, and then you could put the furniture in the room now, absolutely a great way to do some uh, advanced measuring and also management by walking around uh, ikea managers uh, from time to time help uh, clients customers to load their the stuff on their in their cars and everything to really get customer feedback on the whole process now at a certain point you think okay for our case in this case for the automotive case we're going to transfer two or three items so in this case here the manual uh, do it yourself the happiness moment and the catalog as ar uh, instruction and then you challenge yourself to come up with new ways on how this could be applicable to your situation so you copy adapt paste these things you see them in blue so a manual without words maybe an interactive video to go through the car options do it yourself uh, modular options uh, presented to customers after uh, purchasing uh, the happiness moment people get the possibility to buy something on the web because you see people putting things in their in their configuration out of their configuration so with data you know what people really want so how can we how can we uh, use that for the automotive sector? Uh, and you also see some separate IDs here, uh, car memberships, become brand ambassadors, you name it. So these are different ideas based on the IKEA model that you transform these ideas to your situation. So you copy, adapt, paste them to your situation. A few tips on noting down ideas. An idea has a minimum of three words. So um, circus is not an idea. Uh, a roulating car show that visits multiple locations within a country, that's a good idea. Because it has a circus idea behind it, but if you just say circus, no one will know what it means. Feel free to sketch stuff, because that's crucial. Uh, little uh, drawings will actually help you. One idea per post-it, so uh, to, yeah, to be clear about your ideas, don't try to optimize it and put bullet points on one uh, post-it. No, one idea per post-it. Be concrete, focus on the how. And each tool is designed to help generate ideas. Only the selection comes totally at the end. So first of all, come up with ideas. And write readable, so use block letters, capital letters if needed. And with this, you are all set to try out your own transfer map. So the cross industry transfer map, the steps and also the tips are on the full overview, downloadable from the website. So with this, I'd like to thank you for your time. Good luck and uh, download the, all the stuff and tools on crossindustryinnovation.com. Good luck with the cross industry transfer map.